Thank you for choosing Shooting USA on YouTube. This is a new format for us and we're calling it History's Guns Uncut. Anytime we have a subject matter expert expounding on the virtues of a historical firearm, there is always great content left on the cutting room floor. But thanks to the format of YouTube, we can bring you the full interview. Please enjoy History's Guns Uncut. Most everyone has heard of the AR-15 by now and its designer, Eugene Stoner. Now, AR stands for Armalite Rifle, remember? So, what the AR-15 and the AR-7 have in common, they're both Eugene Stoner designs made by Armalite. Well, you may be wondering where the rest of this is. This is the trick with the AR-7. Action, barrel, extra magazines. The stock actually will float with the gun stored in it or assembled onto it. To assemble the gun, you simply have a threaded hole. This slides into the stock. You twist. the thumb screw so it gets tight index the barrel and you have your assembled rifle one magazine is stored in the action in the stock. The magazine release is a button right here. This is your charging handle. Very minimalistic, so it fits inside of there. The whole concept behind this was a survival rifle. It could be stored inside the stock, which made it very compact and could fit in an injection seat for a pilot. Many of you have heard of the M4 survival rifle that was the over-under 22 Magnum 410 shotgun shell. This was kind of designed to try to replace that. There was also the AR-5, which looked very similar to this, but it was a bolt action instead of semi-automatic like the AR-7 was. Now, what made it float was its combination of the foam-filled stock and extremely lightweight. This particular barrel is actually plastic with a steel liner for the rifling. Now the original versions were aluminum with the steel liner. The action was all aluminum and then of course you had the steel direct blowback bolt. So the whole gun is extremely light and would float. Several versions of this, Armalot made this uh, licensed in Argentina. They used it for their pilots. And Israel also adopted this. Armalite manufactured the guns for the Israeli military, but what the Israelis did is they modified theirs with a shorter barrel, a 14-inch barrel instead of a 16-inch, and then they had a wire telescoping buttstock on theirs that held extra magazines. The Israeli version with the wire telescoping stock and the shorter barrel is a rarer variant and they are available in the United States imported again. So the Armalite AR-7 was a semi-automatic 22 long rifle survival gun designed for pilots but it ended up being widely commercially successful with the ease of changing the barrels and the stocks a lot of aftermarket support was um, available for it. Now in 1987, Charter Arms acquired the design from Armalite and they produced it for a while and then eventually Henry Repeating Arms got the design and Henry still makes the gun today. So if you're a Eugene Stoner fan and you like the AR-15, remember there's other Eugene Stoner designs out there that are still available and a lot of fun to shoot. Disassembly is just the reverse operation of the, how you assembled it. You, you put one of your empty magazines into action you're empty, you simply unscrew the barrel, pulls out, 
loosen your thumb screw here. It is captured, so you just loosen it until your action comes out. Remove your butt plate. You store your extra magazine. Your barrel actually runs straight up the grip. Your action goes in. And you're done. Put this in your backpack or toolbox or wherever you want and it's ready to go. Still fairly popular design. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're still widely available. Um, inexpensive and a lot of fun. Thanks again for tuning into the Shooting USA YouTube channel. We hope you enjoyed the content. A couple of notes. Make sure you take advantage of SUSA15 at SnapSafe.com. That's our discount code that saves you 15% on anything from SnapSafe. And that gets to be some big money when you start talking about modular safes and vault doors. Also, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our new content. As always, a like and a comment helps us with that algorithm. <laughs>